my boyfriend and my sister were spending a lot of time together. Then I walked in on them doing something they said was an accident. Was the accident tripping and dicking down someone else? Have you never had the experience of, uh, you know, you're at the table, right? Boom. I'm cutting my, my food. My fork drops on the ground. And wouldn't you know it? A random woman gets pregnant. Dude, that happens to me every Thanksgiving. It's so crazy because it's only family there. Bro, it's it's not a good situation. No, it's not. Some would say it is the stickiest of situations. Ooh. And let me tell you, at least it tastes like pineapple. No I'm cranberry gonna, sauce this Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right. Let's go. All right. Um, I, 24 female, have been dating my boyfriend, 26 male, for about five years now. Nice. We grew up together as neighbors and were friends for a couple of years before dating. I love him so, so much, and I want to marry him. Nice. So great. It's all going to work out. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure this is going to end great. But also, Sam, his family is great, too, and I adore all of them, and he's really great with my family as well. Okay. All right. Let, you know, uh, Reveal the tea, please. In fact, their families get along so well, Sam. Oh, no. That he has formed a great relationship with my sister, a female 21. Oh, God. Oh, God. A great relationship. Oh, no. They're in the same book club. Oh, okay. All right. At least, you know, they're listening. They're watching Harry Potter together. Exactly. They're, they're reading Harry Potter, the whole series. Exactly. You know, Dumbledore is gay. Yeah. He was taking it, giving it. Let's just say, you know, he was pointing his wand. Bro. Externally and internally. His his wand wasn't the only stick he was wielding. That is <laughs> the truth. As soon as <laughs> Harry turned 18, you know, he was slobbing on that, that stick. He's got the Dumbledore. <laughs> Oh man. That's my that's my one that's my one for the week, guys. Dumble dong. Give me that dumble dick, baby. <laughs> Okay, well, back back to uh, back to Opie's boyfriend's double dong. Um, uh, the issue is, I think their bond is a little too close. If you get what I'm saying, um, my boyfriend and I live together, but he spends a lot of time with her. Albeit, I'm sort of busy. I'm currently in grad school for engineering, so I have to go to my classes. My boyfriend works full time, and my sister is currently taking a gap year. But the thing is, that one gap year has been since she was 18. And she is now 21. Oh, she didn't go to college, so she's. Having Having an extended gap year. Hey, she's trying to find herself, man. She's, bro, she's she's lost. She's opening the map of life and going for it. That she is, you know, white girls in gap years go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Throw a few crystals in there. Ooh. Take a few yoga classes. Ooh, mix that pot. Girl, you have a spiritual awakening. You're ready to take life for the balls. Buy the balls and uh, do absolutely nothing. Maybe maybe be a life coach or something. There we go. Yes. Be an Instagram. Oh, yeah. Influencer. Be an Instagram influencer. Be a, be a TikTok content creator. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, those, what, those guys what suck. Fucking losers. I know. Those I know. Guys are, right? Just sit in the room and fucking Things? record shit. Get, like, get a real job. Yeah. And I, I won't. I refuse, mom. So the thing is, they have tons of inside jokes and share the same sense of humor and taste in movies. It sounds like they are perfect for each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, hey, love is love. Man. See, the thing is, the problem, Sam, it makes me feel left out. There's the only one way to <laughs> make sure that you feel completely solid in this relationship. You've heard of the phrase sister wives, right? We're, we're, we're taking it literal, folks. Oh, yes, we are. You know, uh, give me a book and call me a Mormon because I'm about to get polygamous in this bitch. And that's and that's the only problem is she feels left out as part of the gang. It's the only issue. I'm sure that's the only issue, John. Because when I try to include myself, they both stop being enthusiastic and try to act like it's super awkward having me there. Like, why is it so awkward, guys? Maybe it's just because you're awkward, OP. You are on Reddit, so. <laughs> See, the cards are stacking up against you already. And you are dishing all of your familial dirt to strangers on the internet. Red flag. My sister and I were really close growing up, but we started drifting when I went to university. When my boyfriend isn't there and I talk to her, she's become kind of cold and sometimes says rude things to me. What's she saying? I'm fucking your boyfriend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're saying the darndest this things. Just the darndest things over here. One day, she told me to my face that I'm not good enough for him and he deserves better. Like me. <laughs> and this made me cry for a couple of days. Get a grip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, get your shit together, OP. God. Jesus. He also gets her gifts for the most random achievements. Like he got her a present for making it through the week, even though she doesn't do anything. Taking a gap year. What is 
does it take for her to get through the week? Uh, she isn't currently working or trying to pursue a hobby or interest. She's just taking it easy, her own words. I'm sorry, but nah. It's hard just existing in this world, man. You know, like I, w- I wake up, bro, I got to brush my teeth. Can I tell you about this? Tell me, tell me, girl. Do you understand? I'm traumatizing all 40 of my my molars. I think it's 32, is it? These are numbers I'm pulling out of my asshole. I, I'm traumatizing all 60 of my <laughs> teeth. Man has a Bro, shit I'm a shark. I am, I am traumatizing all of my teeth every morning. You know how hard that is every day? It sounds hard. It sounds tough. Even at and night, too. Do twice a day? I have a hard life. Let me tell you something this here. Is, this is essentially death. I am literally, I, I have the worst of any human on planet Earth. Put me in the gallows. You tell her things he doesn't even tell me and he talks to her about our relationship she knows all of our issues the good parts to a level of detail that i wouldn't even tell my close friends or parents he's telling her too much they have too many inside jokes there's something going on i keep hearing strange like yelling from the bedroom when they're playing their board games they told me that there's a ghost haunting her room every yeah. every like friday night it's really and weird like that really scares me you know i'm terrified of this they're ghost. having experiences with these ghosts that i'm not having i have a phobia of, of p- paranormal activity i know and it seems like the only activity that they ever participate in is paranormal wow man this is this is rough she even knows the grades that i get in my midterm and finals and what i think about my manager i work part-time to contribute to our apartment but i also get paid for research which goes towards our needs as well and all of this i feel is unnecessary for her to know since i didn't even tell her myself i asked him to take a step back a bit and stop telling her things about me and our relationship but he was shocked and told me that I am the a-hole for even requesting such a thing. And now I feel guilty. Am I the a-hole? I don't think OP is the a-hole. You know, we're, we're getting a very one-sided story here. Besides the oversharing, I feel like the oversharing, like OP has a right to her own information. Yes. And so if she, you tell someone in confidence something, that should be kept in confidence. But besides that, there really isn't too much like damning evidence of any foul play with the exception of like, I hope he gets his girlfriend gifts too at random. Like if he's getting, if he's giving her gifts and her, the, sister. the sister gifts, then, you know, but if he's just, if it's like a, his, his personality trait or whatever, I'm a gifter. It's okay. Right. Yeah. But like, I'm not going to lie. This is suspicious. As fuck. Well, the thing is, Sam. Oh no. Is there an update? There's an update. Oh, baby. God. God. <gasps> Oh, yeah. I'm guessing most of you know what happened. It's so predictable. I'm kicking myself after not realizing they are cheating with each other. Could we have ever predicted this? Never. Yo, everyone could have predicted this. It's rough, though, because it's like it's like your two most trusted relationships fucking you over at the same time. Gotta be hard. The 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 Avengers of being a crappy <laughs> person. Yeah, dude, that's fucking rough, bro. It's bad. Um, but OP has a plan. Plan? To cry? <laughs> More than cry. I was driving back from my birthday, mind you. Oh, this is her birthday. Yes. Fucking yikes, dog. Around 4 p.m. I caught them literally in the act. Of sex? Of doing it. Why were they doing it at 4 p.m.? Wait, that's a double whammy, bro. Because not only are you seeing your sister have sex, which is kind of fucking weird, but you're seeing your boyfriend have sex with your sister. That that has got to be one of the worst things human eyeballs can witness. Yeah. OP, OP doesn't say that. Believe it or not, it's a shocker right now. I just kind of stood there with my arms folded and what I hope was a badass resting bitch face on. Although maybe it was more of a trying desperately not to cry face. My boyfriend gave me a, a full explanation, Sam. A whole explanation. Oh, really? Oh, amazing. Amazing. I, all of this can be explained right <laughs> yes it was an accident spiel you know the the the, the good old i tripped and fell into your sister's coochie in, into the coochie it happens to the best of us floors are slipperier nowadays what bro who's, who's out here keeping these floors nobody dude these floors are slipping sliding all over the place yeah. have you seen the hard wood on these new apartments it's it's they it's crazy. shine they shine they're oiling them up bill clinton goes into the into the oval office Slips. Bang. Unbelievable. Insane. I just ignored him and started packing my things. Thank God our lease was up for renewal within the month. Yo, it's actually just a giant ploy because the landlord wants them out because they're bad tenants. And they're like, yo, all right, I know one thing that will fuck this up. Let's get the boyfriend and the sister together. Bada bing, bada boom. They'll be out. I'll be ready to sell this rent control apartment. That would be the greatest. Like if if the landlord replied with that update, that would be the greatest Reddit story of all time. I'm the landlord and I did this. 
I smoke oh restraint my this whole God. thing. My boyfriend begged me and eventually yelled at me for packing up my things. What, bro? You have no right to yell, what dog. Do you, what, what are you going to say? Stop leaving just because I cheated on you yeah, with your like sister. still mid-fuck and he's like, what are you doing? Well, hold oh, on, babe. <laughs> babe, wait for me to come and I'll talk to you, Jesus. Yeah, you, you know that's all the time I need. Come on. The funny thing is uh, I bought most of the furniture and supplies. So me being slightly petty, packed up as much of our possessions as I possibly could. Fucking you get it, girl. My friend D helped me and we loaded everything up into her car. Wait, D's nuts? Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Those are someone else's now nuts. it's no nuts. Those are the sister's nuts. We left some stuff that couldn't fit, but I'm going to go back for that later. The whole time my sister was sitting stoically wrapped in a robe on my couch. My poor couch, OP says. We went back to my friend D's house and I had a breakdown. D, the angel that she is provided me with ice cream and fuzzy blankets. Shout out D, good friend. My boyfriend spammed me with calls and texts ranging from, I'm sorry, babe, please just forgive me. I love you and you know it was only a one-time thing <laughs> to other gems like, this wasn't my fault. You should have been home more. We decided to check the recordings of cameras that I had put up to see oh, if they were got doing the, the tapes. It was definitely not just once. Oh. I am really sad that the sister who used to bake cupcakes and do karaoke with me could betray me this badly. See, this is why I'm glad I'm like my my sibling is not the same sex as me. I'm not saying my sister would ever hook up with someone I was dating if yeah. she was a man. Yeah. I'm just glad that it's less of a possibility. The chances are, are, are much yeah. lower. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so for my boyfriend, well, he was actually my first. Yikes. And in hindsight, he didn't really contribute much anyways, if you get what I'm saying. Yesterday, kind of rotating through being devastated, angry, self-righteous. But today, D pampered me all day, so it wasn't so bad. D is the best friend ever. D is the best. Thanks for everyone's support, and I hope that everyone has a good day. Well, at least, like, OP knows to leave, all right? Like, yeah, some, peop some people in these Reddit stories do not like, get oh, the hint. Like, how can I move past this with my partner? Yeah, how do I uh, rectify this? Bro, you don't rectify shit. You leave, you eject, bro. man. You, you hit the eject button, fucking go out of that plane. Dip. Yeah, allow it to crash into a thousand pieces into a mountain. Hopefully you can parachute out with your life. Like 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 that video that we watched earlier. Oh my god, that was crazy. We saw a video of literally this guy driving a plane and then crashes something... into another plane. Oh, it crashes into another yeah, plane. There's two planes that it crashes into another plane. Oh my god. Which also has skydivers and they all fucking fall out. Stop. So the there's just skydiver falling out of this thing. Hopefully, I mean at least they all parachute, I guess. They all parachute. <laughs> Jesus, fingers crossed, God. But that honestly, that TikTok video was a uh, a visual metaphor for literally this story yeah. uh, eject baby eject. except op was all the people now we are with this story know that you are loved and hey everyone in the comments please just say that they love op that's right throw it down throw yeah. a piece of love throw it throw it throw it if you thought this was crazy check out this one where the fiance only dated op because she thought he was pathetic